Hello and welcome to an update video to my original Missing Guitars video. Long story short, back in my touring days, I had a bunch of guitars that I left over in Europe. I recently received some of those back, but there's one that never made it home that I consider lost or stolen. That guitar is nicknamed Big Boy and he is a one of a kind RA600 prototype with some distinguishing features. And until now, I've never had any good photos or video that I could show to help aid those interested in helping me locate the guitar in any meaningful way. And that is the point of these videos. Someday, somewhere, someone is going to see Big Boy and notice that he's different than the other RA600s out there or that he matches the description of what we're going to go over in this video and maybe that information may somehow make its way back to me. Who knows? Now, I recently came across some time-lapse video of a Chimera gig over in Europe sometime in 2009. Upon slowing this video down, I realized there are perfectly clear shots of Big Boy and his brother Little Boy, who I do now have back in my possession. And when we compare the two along with a production model RA600, Big Boy's unique features become more distinguishable. And because of that, I wanted to make this video so that anyone looking has a clear idea of what makes this guitar I'm seeking a reunion with different from the rest. So let's analyze this video and I'll break it all down. Okay, so here we are at the gig. Again, this is all fast motion. So, but if I slow it down, I hit pause here and kind of go frame by frame. You can see right here, there's one, there's one. And what's perfect here is that my guitar tech at the time, Grizz, this gentleman right here, that was Brandon, our sound guy at the time. Grizz is gonna take each one out, four guitars. I had two RE600s and two RE600 prototypes, little boy and big boy. And he's setting them all over there in this, my guitar boat. Now, this is not gonna, hey, there I am. And this is not gonna be a clear picture, but wouldn't you know it, the mastermind, the legend, the incredible Strongsville, Ohio native, famous cinematographer, Todd Bell, check this out, had another camera angle set up, filming the entire, the same thing. So what we just saw over here, he's got another camera set up right here. Look at these clear ass shots. There is Big Boy right there. Some distinguishing features I'll go over. He's got a see-through black body where an RE600 right behind him, right there, has a jet black. Now I know in this lighting, you can't tell the difference. That's a regular RE600. This is Big Boy sitting right in front of him. And uh, he also looks jet black, but the fact is, there we go, there's some good better lighting. He has a see-through finish, meaning you can see the wood grain in it. Other distinguishing features, he has no binding. Look on the body right here. And when I go back to a regular RA600, that's a production model RA600, he's got the binding right there. You can see it along there, you can see it along the wings here. Some guys call these wings, some guys call them, uh, what do you guys call them? I forget, horn, people call those. I always call them the wing, although I always struggle to even remember what to call them. So. What do you guys call them? Anyways, see that binding there? Also, block LTD logo, signature, kind of small, that comes into play in a moment. We'll see that jet black finish. For some reason, it takes them away. The RA600 sits down there. Here comes Big Boy. Big Boy, again, no binding. You could tell right here, too, there's the RA600 production behind. He's got binding right there. Big Boy does not. Big Boy does not have any binding along there. Big Boy has a large LTD logo, which is good, but the signature is much bigger. I know perspective here, this guitar is closer, so it looks bigger, but keep your eye right here on the signature. You can see that it's bigger when he takes it away. It's smaller on the 600 and positioned slightly different on the, on the production 600 in relationship to the LTD than this is. This signature is bigger. Now, here comes another 600 that he puts there. So you could tell binding on a, on a production 600, binding on a production 600, no binding on Big Boy. And then here comes Little Boy right in front. And what makes Little Boy different is the curse of LTD logo. And again, I have this guitar here in the room with me right now. Thank God it made it back. But again, looking at the signatures, Look how sm much smaller the signature, and, and this is a, a regular signature that made it to the production model 600. So that is the signature that should be on all the production models, and you can see it's much bigger on Big Boy. 
Here comes little boy again. Much smaller signature and a different relationship to the LTD logo, even though this is a cursed of LTD logo that didn't make it to the production model, but still on little boy, no binding. So big boy and little boy are twins in the fact that they have see-through finishes, no binding, but the signature and LTD logos are different. And those ended up being modified for the final RA600 production model, which we see right there, which many of you have. Awesome, all the 600 family members, props to you. Again, so there's big boy, here comes little boy. <clears throat> now, one thing I noticed in this video, watch this, right here, right here, Grizz gives a high five to somebody. First, he points to big boy and he says, check this out. This is the last night Rob's gonna see this. And then he gives somebody a high five saying, cause maybe they got this whole thing planned. They're gonna, they're gonna dip out with these guitars, you know? That's, that's one possible scenario because watch, to take it further, who's he high five and who is the other accomplice here? Oh my gosh, it's Trevor Phipps from Unearth, eating a banana, no doubt to be able to save that peel to drop in the path of any suspected would be followers of their footsteps as an obstacle for them to slip on, right? <laughs> Obviously joking about Grizz and Trevor, both credible guys from Boston. Miss them both. So anyways, there, I'll leave you with that image of Big Boy. That's him. You're going to look for a big signature, no binding, see-through finish. That's going to be the dead giveaway right there. So that's it. If you ever happen to come across any information or have any clues that could lead to the whereabouts of Big Boy, please let me know in the comments or in a message on any of the uh, socials, you know, you can hit me up on any of those. And, you know, maybe nothing will come of this video, but perhaps it will. And it certainly won't if, if I don't put a video like this out there. So I just wanted to give anybody who's interested as much information as, as they possibly can. Uh, and, you know, an, another possibility, as I mentioned in the, one of those other videos is that, you know, maybe the person who has the guitar, perhaps even through a grapevine of sales and the guitar changing hands, um, you know, maybe they want to hang on to it, or maybe they fear there's going to be some sort of repercussion if, if, if I find out they have it or something like that. And I promise there won't be anything like that. I really, really just what would satisfy me is peace of mind of knowing that number one, he's okay, two, what happened to him, and three, just where he's been all these years. And if the opportunity does arise where we can make some exchange and I can get the guitar back, I promise to make make it so that everyone is happy in the end. You know, I don't want uh, the owner of it now who may have acquired it in a perfectly normal way to, to feel that they got gypped in any way or anything like that. So even if you say, hey, I have, but I want to hang on to it, you know, I'd just love to see a picture too. Like I said, know that he's okay. So really appreciate everybody watching. If you made it this far, thanks so much. Give the video a thumbs up so that, you know, that algorithm will show this video to others and hopefully spread that message. And uh, one day I could be making a video thanking all you guys, holding the big boy, jamming out some riffs, and that would be sick. So right now though, I want you to go check out, if you haven't seen them, the original Missing Guitars video, and Everything You Love episode 20, where I do a big segment detailing the whole thing, why Kamira had guitars over there, what happened in the breakup, all that kind of stuff, and why I no longer have them. So check those videos out. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.